I'm I work as a herbalist in the Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney and I'm also a mother of three feral but beautiful boys and a wife to a wonderful man and I've just been video blogging or well that's what I'm calling it I don't know if it's called video blogging but anyway um, and I've just realized that I've been recording it in the wrong direction so hopefully this one now fills the screen and yeah so what am I what am I doing I'm doing a marathon uh, my first marathon and I'm doing it plant-based and I've started by um, with a juice fast I've just done seven days and I did decide to break the juice fast last night I was going to do 10 days but I just felt you know these things happen um, the last couple of days I've spoken to a few people who've done the Daniel fast now the Daniel fast is um, from the Bible it's based on a story in the Old Testament and um, the gist of it from what I understand is um, that Daniel that like there's this king of you know he's the king of the time and um, he asked um, you know for his soldiers or whatever to bring men to his kingdom and he was going to train them up so they could work for him so you know um, Daniel and three of his mates was chosen as some of these men and the king was providing food and what happened Daniel said look I don't want and the king's food was you know the meat and milk and whatever rich I assume wine my meat and wine and um, and Daniel said, look, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't eat this shit. No, he didn't say that. He said, oh, I don't know. Thou shall not eat this stuff. And the soul, the guard who was looking after him kind of panicked and said, look, I want you to please eat it because if you don't eat it, then I'm going to get in trouble off the king because it's the king's food and he'll be really offended if you don't eat it. And then Daniel said, look, okay, what we'll do is for 10 days, I'm going to eat just um, see, oh, sorry, pulse. In some Bibles it says pulse, other Bibles it says vegetables. But basically what the gist is, I think, um, if food from seed for 10 days and only drink water. And if we fail in health by then, um, you know, we'll eat the king's food. And the guard said, okay, no worries. Because the guard was worried about that if they did this, that they will get sick. And so 10 days later, um, Daniel and his three mates um, were like full on, fit as, looked awesome, and really healthy, and proved the guard's concerns wrong. And from that, um, a lot of people in modern times today um, do this Daniel fast. And it is a bit of a spirit. I am a woman of faith, so it did really resonate with me in that level. But also as a natural therapist, when I read this, I was like, wow, that really just um, kind of confirms my thoughts on healing. Like, I do believe that plants are healing foods, and um, yeah, so I was kind of excited to read to, to read that passage. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this myself. So And it's also, you know, people do it as a spiritual thing and like all religions and all spiritual um, belief systems have, they do have fasting. And I have found the last seven days of Jewish fasting that I, you know, I do feel yeah, more connected, more connected to my creator, more connected just as a human to the earth and whatever. So I'm feeling all very spiritual at the moment. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to go do this Daniel thing. So today's my first day on the Daniel fast and I'll do that for 10 days, just like Daniel and his buddies. I think they went on that same diet though for a while, which I think is great. And um, yeah, and I shall report back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And this is Ali on Herbs. Yay!